five, I was living in a significantly broken home. My parents were dealing with a lot of issues. Had it not been for the sanctuary of camp, life might have been different for me. You know, I do feel God is present here. Just the natural setting with the beautiful lake in the background, the beautiful trees, the wonderful people. Well, God is working in every one of our lives every day, and we don't often know how and why. I can feel God's presence as community is being built. It would be incredible because you would hear music, you'd see laughter, you would hear sound of that noise that just brings life to a camp in the summer months. Chatek was started in the mid-1930s as part of a, a government program where the workers that stayed out here at camp then uh, built the dikes that connect the islands. World War II broke out though then, so the camp was abandoned. And there were a group of pastors in the area who knew about the site and thought it would be a wonderful place for a Bible camp. And so they worked with the state and then eventually then they bought the property in 1947 and started doing programming on the site and then developed the site into the ministry that it is today. My dad was a pastor in Ruthton back in the late 40s when a group of pastors and others decided to take on the, the responsibility for this property after it was turned over from its former use. So he was instrumental in, in helping to form that first board of Shatek. And my dad claimed, he's been gone now for a few years, but claimed that it was his idea to put that cross over the door going into the old building. We love to preserve the history of the place, but there comes a time when buildings don't function anymore. We see that especially with our cabins, I believe they were built by the WPA. Our cross-generational ministry and also our year-round ministry, we can't really grow it at this point. Our cabins need updating. They work, but I think we can be even more hospitable with newer buildings and newer facilities. Well, our retreat center is a wonderful facility, but it is full all year round, booked up for a year or two in advance. And so in order to try and expand some of those programs, we would need some other facilities, and they would have to be winterized facilities. The world has changed, and people's expectations have changed. To stay competitive, I think you have to have facilities that they don't have to be top of the line, but they need to be adequate and safe. We know that much ministry has happened here over the last 70 plus years and much more ministry can happen and we want to continue that and grow on that. Updated cabins and a new retreat center and things, we will be able to reach a lot more people and really expand Shatek's reach in southwest Minnesota and South Dakota and maybe even beyond. We did do additions on a couple of the cabins, and that generated questions then. Do we keep doing additions on cabins? Do we evaluate the worth of the cabin itself? You know, putting new additions onto an 85-year-old building and some of those things. So we asked some of those questions and said, you know, we need to reevaluate it and get a new master site plan, which was part of our strategic plan, which we developed just two and a half years ago. Improving the site, making the cabins winterize, I'm looking at other facilities that can function for seasons will help us do ministry to more people and hopefully reach out to folks that don't currently utilize Shatek as a meeting space. Our first phase will be about one and a half million dollars and we would like to build a new adult youth lodge that would house four sleeping rooms and a large gathering area and also two new cabins which would have two sleeping areas and meeting space. Challenge goal would be another 500,000 so up to two million and that would include one more brand new uh, duplex cabin and then we would remove the bathhouse. We've chosen to to support this camp. My parents did when they were alive and I do now. To me, supporting this campaign is simply a matter of faithfulness. I just hope that uh, people as we move forward with this campaign reflect upon what Shatek has been and what Shatek can be. I'm starting at seminary in the fall and this is a place where I've really felt God 
calling me to work in the church. Think about the impact that camp made in your life and start thinking about the way in which you can make an impact in a campaign like this. The ways that you can give. This camp has changed my life. Tucker is awesome and this has changed my life. My fellow pastors, encourage your congregations. Get people on site any way you can. There's lots of different programs. And once people have an experience in this place, then they'll understand what we're trying to do here.